Welcome to episode 2 of Stand Up For Nature here on the VSI podcast. I'm your host, Joyce Monsa. Today on the program, we're going to talk about plastic pollution in Zambia. Much of the planet is swimming in discarded plastic, which is harming animals and possibly human health. Plastic pollution has become one of the most pressing environmental issues and increase in production of disposable plastic products overwhelms the world's ability to do with them. On this episode today, we have an environmental health activist who is joining us to discuss plastic pollution and its effect on the environment in Zambia. Mr. Enoch, we are so happy to have you join us on the VSI podcast. Firstly, who is Enoch Mwewa? Hello, thank you very much for having me on this platform. So, Enoch Mwewa is a trained climate leader by former US Vice President Al Go, and also he is uh, an FDN Network Africa, my future, my voice ambassador. So Enoch believes that noticing a problem is an automatic way to take action. So whenever we see a problem, that is a a call that we should do something about that problem. And so we should respond by taking action. And right now the world is facing so many problems among us, which are environmental problems, climate problems. We are facing the climate crisis. So all those are opportunities to actually take action. And among us, these problems, we have plastic pollution. Now as an automatic call to take action, we should respond to plastic pollution in order to save it because plastic pollution can affect our lives very greatly. Plastic pollution is most visible in developing African countries where garbage collection systems are often insufficient. What is plastic pollution in your own terms? For us to understand plastic pollution, we need to break it down. Plastic and pollution. Pollution is actually the introduction of harmful material into the environment. Now, this harmful material is what we call pollutants, and they can either be natural or anthropogenic. Anthropogenic meaning they can be made from human activity. Now, plastics, as we may or may not know, are actually a non-biodegradable material, meaning they don't disintegrate, or they don't disintegrate easily. The average lifespan of a plastic is actually estimated from 450 years to forever. This actually means that almost each and every single plastic that has ever been produced, if it wasn't incinerated, if it wasn't burnt, is actually still in the environment today. Now, why are plastics harmful? Well, plastics, like I mentioned, they take forever to disintegrate. I mean, they keep on accumulating and accumulating and accumulating into our environment. And more they accumulate into the environment, the actually less fatal our soils become. Now, the accumulation of plastics also le- leads to uh, the breaking down of macro chemicals now these chemicals when uh, they break down into our environment they end up in our water they can end up in our food and when we start taking uh, that water they actually start to building up into our bodies now imagine if we continue to take this contaminated water that has been contaminated with uh, chemicals from plastics for a very long period of time this can actually be a lethal dose that uh, can cause adverse health effects now that is a serious problem and that is uh, very harmful. Now that is a process what, which we call bar accumulation. So the bar accumulation is actually when uh, macro chemicals from plastics, they continue building up into our bodies. It started with small doses maybe in our water or maybe in our food. Uh, but eventually due to the long period that we have taken this type of contaminated foods or this contaminated water, they actually build up to a, a dose that can actually harm us and maybe give us even the cancers uh, and other rare conditions that we may not know that uh, may affect our immune systems and also besides that the production of plastic itself actually contributes to climate change through the emission of a greenhouse gas called carbon dioxide now carbon dioxide is a major key contributor to the global warming effect when this happens we start to experience droughts floods cyclones wildfires water scarcity and all these other adverse effects of climate change and also let's not forget that uh, excess of plastic to our environment is actually a threat to biodiversity because we have seen stories of animals actually taking these plastics into the air system uh not so long ago kenya actually banned plastics because the united nations environmental program found at least uh, 10 plastics in each and every kettle that was slaughtered now that is very dangerous now in in zambia if we assess this we can also find a similar situation so let's be mindful of the amount of plastics that we let uh stay in our environment do you think plastic pollution is a huge concern in zambia and the rest of the world and why yes i do think 
plastic is a huge concern here in Zambia and not only in our country but also the rest of the world and this is why. By the year 2050 it's actually estimated that plastic is going to outweigh the fish in our, in our oceans and also water bodies. Imagine going fishing and instead of catching fish you are actually catching plastics. And also in the same year 2050 it's actually estimated that most of the fish will be eating plastics. Now what does that mean? That means that most of our sea species are going to go extinct. Now that is a problem that we need to solve by solving the plastic problem. And also the same plastic is actually being sold like a million times every minute. So medium plastics are constantly being sold every minute and what does this plastic end up to? It ends up in our landfills, it ends up in our environment, it ends up in our oceans and also According to Nigel World, it actually estimates that about 40% of plastics are just for one time use only. The plastic bag that we get when we go shopping, the plastic bottles where water is stored. So, these are the uh, concerns of plastics nowadays. This is why it is a big issue. Plastic, we are not just talking about plastics because we've got nothing to say. It's actually because they are a concerning issue. Plastics are leading to global warming. Plastics are also uh, causing adverse health effects such as cancer and also studies have also been showing that it's actually affecting the males and uh, uh, developing uh, prostate and uh, stuff like that. But yeah, that's a topic for another discussion. So, are they a huge concern? Most definitely. I do think so and I'm positive that if we don't do anything about these plastics, we're actually are going to take away our future. What are some of the interventions that have been taken and do you think they are enough? In efforts to combat plastic pollution, the government has actually come up with interventions on how best we can achieve this. Uh, one of the interventions is actually the Keep Zambia Clean, Green and Healthy campaign which encourages us to actually uh, throw plastics in the right uh, waste receptacles and also make sure that uh, we do not just litter anyhow. Apart from that, the government has also come up with an intervention where like uh, every last Saturday of the month, if I'm not mistaken, it's uh, a national cleaning day where all institutions come together and also just sweep around uh, our environment. We clean, we pick up the litter and also just throw it uh, correctly so that uh, we uh, avoid polluting our environment. So like I earlier mentioned, we can actually come up with the plastic return policy where we take back um, plastic bottles, especially those that are used for packing beverages or packing uh, foodstuffs uh, to these plastic distributing companies. And once we retain them, maybe if possible, they can actually offer you a cut uh, in actually at how much you buy their products. I think that way it will be very, very vital in uh, helping reduce the plastic pollution issue and also I think raising awareness is the uh, main way to go. I think when people are educated about um, the effects of plastic in our environment I think they'll be more conscious on how they use plastics and also I feel we can actually maybe uh, try to increase the import taxes of uh, plastics so that we can just at least minimize on how much plastics that our country receives. I think that way it will also call for local production of sustainable plastics and also uh, what more can be done I think uh, we can be more innovative in actually solving this plastic issue. I've actually seen and read information about uh, other nations that uh, coming up with initiatives and innovations on how to solve the problem. Some are actually coming up with uh, uh, plastics that are able to, to melt when put in water and so I think we can also tap into the creativity of young people and also just encourage innovation on solving the plastic issue. We can call for uh, uh, clubs such as JETS, uh, pupils can actually come up with projects that can actually help uh, uh, solve this plastic pollution problem. I think there are many opportunities that are there when it comes to solving the plastic issue. It just uh, takes us to actually make it a, a, a huge concern. It makes it a huge topic for uh, it to actually receive uh, attention. And also once it starts to gain the necessary attention, I think more ideas will start to pop up from actually citizens, from actually students, individuals, and uh, every stakeholder. Yes. Any further thoughts regarding plastic pollution or anything that you would love to encourage the public out there? 
my last thoughts i would just like to encourage everyone to practice reducing reusing recycling rethinking repurposing reimagining refusing and any other error that you can think of when it comes to solving the plastic problem i think uh, we all have a, a key role to play and uh, let's not leave plastic pollution as something that can only be solved by the government or something more something that can be solved by civil society organization but let's also contribute in our own little way as possible instead of throwing that plastic in the streets pick it up and also just uh, throw it in the right receptacle and also try to minimize on how uh, we, we consume plastics we can actually carry a, a paper bag or a cotton bag when we go shopping or just a backpack when I go shopping so that we avoid buying uh, more plastics. I think we all can contribute in solving plastic pollution in only two ways possible and it actually starts from home or now we actually use plastics or now uh, actually we reduce plastics at home. So from there then we can actually tap into a more large scale uh, approach of solving the plastic issue. But uh, otherwise we all have a key role to play in solving the plastic issue and let's all join hands together and let's not just leave it to one institution on or one entity to solve this problem but it's all up to us we can all uh, try to protect our future and also conserve as mr enoch has said remember that it's our responsibility to take care of our own trash remember to reduce respect rethink and reuse thank you so much for joining us see you next time